Hi and thank you for watching. So scouting face to face has now been suspended for just over three months. And I look back at what we've achieved over those three months and I'm filled with pride. I'm super proud to be the County Commissioner of a, a county that's evolved and changed in so many different ways. Six months ago, if you'd said to me that we would be delivering section meetings using technology or delivering badges at home, I might have laughed at you. If you just said to me that we'd be delivering a county-wide water activities day where everybody had an opportunity to take part, all from the comfort of their own homes, I might have laughed at you. In fact, if you'd have told me six months ago that in June this year I'd be in week 14 of doing videos for you all and people would be watching them still, I would not have believed myself or anybody else. But no, in just three short months, We've changed so much about what we've done with scouting in Gloucestershire. We've done so much great work. We've learned new skills for ourselves and developed scouting faster than it's ever been developed before. We've taken part in camps. We've designed and delivered new ways of training and validation, all aimed at being more flexible and more accessible. I'm amazed at the learning journey that we've been all on together. I think scouting, for me, has changed personally forever, especially adult activity, whether it be training or meetings. The way that we use our time now is going to be more effective. The way that we use our resources that we've got available to us is going to be used even better, I think. And I think that's a great thing. We've learned new skills. We're delivering skills to young people and things are just going from strength to strength. Now, I know for some of you, it's not so easy. I know for some of you, you need a little bit more help or just to recognise that things are tough. And at this stage, I just want to say that's down to my team and I to be able to support you. But if you want us to support you, can I just ask you, please just reach out to your district commissioner. Let them know that you're struggling with your section or with your young people, with your group at the moment. We want to be able to help. But for all of you, I want to say thank you for your patience, for your commitment and your willingness to change, adapt and learn, especially during these really strange times that we're experiencing, not just in Gloucestershire, but in every part of every aspect of our lives. Thank you. So this week has been National Loneliness Week. You might not have known that, but you might be somebody who's experiencing loneliness at times, and particularly in these really strange times we're going through at the moment. I know that over the past few months, there have been times when I've felt lonely myself. Carol, our Deputy County Commissioner for People, has recently written a blog for us. We've put it on our homepage at gscouts.org.uk. If you go halfway down, you'll find the news stories, and it's the first news story. And in that, you'll find lots of tips and hints about how we can support one another and how we can help ourselves, particularly when we're feeling lonely. You might remember last week that I showed you that I'd got this brown and green scarf from 46th Gloucester. Well, they sent me through a video this week of what they called the Necker Pass Challenge, which was fantastic. It's them passing the Necker from one person to another. And I got to take part as part of launching their camp at the beginning of last weekend. They've also done a virtual water fight. If you want to see these two great videos, if you find them on YouTube, just search 46 Gloss. You'll find them on YouTube and there's two great videos there. It's worth just taking a look at. Last weekend was our Water Activities Day at home. A great opportunity just to come together once again and celebrate great things that scouting can offer. It was great to see so many posts, so many pictures and lots of videos. In fact, we've put some of them together just here.
The weather wasn't brilliant, but that did mean we get to recycle as much water as possible. So that was great to have. And we're in the process of putting that highlights video together with lots of photos, lots of videos from last weekend. So if you haven't uploaded your photos just yet, do so really soon. A final thanks I just want to make is just to the team around delivering that. There were people that recorded those instructional videos. I want to say thank you to Ruthie for leading the team and enabling that just to come together. And of course to the team in the Forest of Dean who gave us the activities in the first place. A huge thank you to all of you. Also this week, talking about videos, we've had a great video sent through from Randwick Scout Group where they've been doing a bucket of water challenge. So let's see what they've been up to. There's loads more great opportunities to get involved in great scouting activities over the next couple of months. I want to tell you a few of them now. So earlier on today, Strategy and Evolution launched their s and &E at Home event. Fantastic event it looks like it's going to be. Lots of great activities and it's been kicked off by the Chief Commissioner for the UK, Tim Kidd, with a great video. Thanks Tim for doing that video. Don't forget, anybody can take part in any of those 15 activities. All you have to do is go to s-e.org.uk log in and you're away and running you get to see the great virtual campsite that they're running there's loads of great activities and you only have to do five of them to get a certificate the great thing is you don't have to do anything as a leader all you have to do is just tell people about it so do get telling people and i look forward to seeing lots of great activities over the next week or so don't forget the s &E at home event is open until next weekend so even if you don't get to take part in all of it this weekend you could take part during the week Many of you might have received an email from headquarters this week inviting you to take part in one of these all member phone calls. These are a great opportunity and I really appreciate when headquarters lets us know all together some of the key things that are coming up and how they're looking to support us. And in particular, these topics are being discussed. And the one I'm particularly looking forward to hearing about is the plans that they've got for starting to think about how we might restart scouting. So you might have seen online or via social media that they're starting to talk about the first ever national online camp at home. It's going to be an amazing experience. The Great Indoors Weekender is taking place on the 11th and 12th of July and is another amazing opportunity to take part in a camp, whether it be in your lounge, in the garden, in the shed or in the garage, wherever works for you. There's lots of great things planned for it. They've got special guests. They're going to have crafts, music and loads of other activities, as well as a UK-wide campfire. Everything I've read about it looks pretty amazing. The great thing is you don't have to do much again. Once again, if you just want to, get involved and sign up and take part yourself. You'll find the website address just here. Alternatively, we'd love it if you just got as many young people involved. All you have to do is just pass the information on and get them involved in their own time and space as well. That's 11th or 12th of July. July is looking like a quite a busy month actually for activities. You might remember last weekend, as part of our water activities at home, we had lots of great activities to do. Well, the team have taken on the challenge and we've got another event coming up for you in July. Land Activities Day at Home. Similar to water activities, but it's land activities. It's going to be another great opportunity to experience a range of different activities, all focused around things you can do at home. 
And this is going to be the second part in what will be a four series, four part series, which will include land, water that we did last weekend, air and international. And all four parts will make up a brilliant badge. Talking of badges, you might have been wondering about the badge for our virtual camp that was celebrating VE Day a few weeks ago. Well, they've now been delivered. We're fantastic. So here's a sneak preview of what they look like. They've now been delivered and over the next 10 days or so, we're going to start distributing them. So they're on their way to you if you've ordered yours now. So this week I've had a necker from Second Rodborough Scout Group in Strand Hebbury. Thank you so much to Mary and the team for sending this through to me. This is their necker just here. What Mary also sent to me was an explanation of what will the different parts of the bat on the back mean. So what we've got is the green represents Rodborough Common and the cross represents the tabernacle of Rodborough. So it's fantastic to hear all about the history. So thank you so much for sharing that with me, Mary. I do appreciate it. So that's that second Rodborough scarf. And of course, in recognition of strategy and evolution or s &E at home, we've got the s &E scarf. So um, I'll be wearing that this weekend to take part in my activities. I hope you'll be taking part as well. So that's the S&E scarf. So thank you so much for sending a scarf through. I really do appreciate it. If you've got a scarf and you want to send it to me, here's my email address. I promise to return them when this is all over if you want me to. Um, but do tell me a bit about your group and what you've been up to at this time as well. A big thank you to all of you. As ever, you'll find lots of information on our website, gscouts.org.uk forward slash coronavirus. And when you go there, you'll find that we're always putting new information on there, the latest news. And of course, soon you'll find out more about land activities at home day. We've been recently adding some more programme ideas, so do go and check in on it every so often. So that's another week done. Thank you so much for everything you're doing out there. I really do appreciate it and thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye bye.